Yeah, if there's no Splinter Cell, I'll be pissed. If there's no new Rayman game, I'll be pissed. Skull and Bones and Mario and Rabbids. Where's the dancing panda? Hi everyone and welcome to Ubisoft Forward. I'm Mila. And I'm Yusuf. We're so thrilled to be back hosting Ubisoft Forward. Over the next hour, we'll be your guides to all the latest news and exciting announcements coming from Ubisoft. We've got so much in store for you today, including deeper looks at Far Cry 6, Riders Republic, and Rainbow Six, oh, plus yeah. a few other surprises you'll find out about soon Rainbow enough. Six Quarantine. Neelum. I'm excited. We're filming this together. We got this gorgeous set. E3 is back. But I know why y'all are here. You want to see games. Yes. So let's get right into it. Thank you. The Rainbow Six operators are facing off stop being against an evolving and deadly who work for you. You'll no doubt have noticed that the alien parasite has spread to new areas. It's time to suit up and step into the containment zone. Here's a deeper look at Rainbow oh, Six Extraction. Extraction. They changed the name because of the pandemic, I'm guessing. <laughs> I used to feel so much peace staring into the heavens until a piece of it fell. And the nightmare began. I think it's aliens, it's not zombies. We thought it could be contained. But it evolved. So we did too. One of our own is MIA. I need an extraction team. Why does the CGI now? footage look worse than the actual game graphics? If there's a way to stop them, you will find it. But I know you will find me first. We want to see the game, but we're not going to show you the game. We're going to show you a, a fucking CGI video. They got. They shoot out their hands. You're not showing us the game, though. Clear. Let's move up. Clock's ticking. You gotta find where the aliens planted the bomb. <laughs> Predator. <laughs> what the fuck? Not so fast. Why waste our time and your time and money making a CGI trailer? One person just get to like sit on a wall, like st stuck to a wall while they wait for their teammates to rescue them. 
That wasn't the game. You didn't show the fucking game. Now, I know you must have a ton of questions after seeing that trailer. Have you got, and have we you, have have you got a game? As well as a full gameplay walkthrough coming up, so hang tight. Why didn't you show that My instead? name is Richard. I'm your resident community developer coming to you from North Carolina. We're thrilled to be back to give you an introduction to Rainbow Six Extraction. With me today in Montreal, I have Bruno Lalonde, our lead technical director, and Alicia Fortier, game designer, to help walk us through. Alicia, what can we tell our players about Extraction? Extraction is a one to three player co-op experience. You might think you know what you're getting into since there's gonna be some of your favorite Rainbow Six operators, but it's gonna be completely different because this time you're not fighting against each other. You're coming together to face an unprecedented, evolving alien threat. It's gonna be the same. Some of the operators' abilities, gadgets, and tech should feel familiar They've literally to just players, but this time, copied and as you progress through the game, you'll unlock from new Rainbow ability Six Siege. upgrades and a whole new arsenal specifically designed to take on this new threat. So the operators we just saw in that trailer are very familiar, but what happened to Hibana? She got captured. In extraction, you're always putting it all but on the were, line. There were five people in that fucking trailer, you're gonna go but it's a one to three player you game. You can't play MIA operators until they're safely recovered. You and your squad are gonna have to come back together to get back in there and get them out. Every time you go in the containment zone, you risk losing all your progress and upgrades. Sounds like so fun. stay on your toes and weigh every move you make. Balancing that risk and reward scenario is going to be tough. Bruno, can you tell us a little bit more about the alien threat? What is it? Who are they? And where do they come from? What we know is the Archeans are an evolved form of the parasite that was first detected a few years ago during the heartbreak event in New Mexico. But a lot has changed since. The parasite has spread to three new regions, emerging in several containment zones within New York, San Francisco, and Alaska. This is what we know so far. Within the containment zones, the alien ecosystem is in a continual evolution. As incubation nests and their sprawling tissue spawn procedurally, taking over different areas of the map and reaction to the player presence. The parasite is always spreading, always evolving, but it didn't look too happy about the operators disturbing their new home. What are we facing off against? Well, the black goo-like sprawl is probably the first thing you will take on. It's, it's like the, it the mold from the Resident map. Evil 7. Once your presence is detected, slowing your progress and helping the Archings. Some of the other threats you may have seen in the trailer are the long-range spiker, the explosive breacher, the shape-shifting tormentor. Well, they all look so unique. The <laughs> There's a lot more species of Archings and mutations that have been observed. More to come on that very soon. Thank you both so much for joining me. I'm really excited to dig into more of the details. We still have crossplay to talk about. Yes, that's right. Extraction will bring everyone together regardless of the platform. And for our Rainbow Six players, we'll turn it off because they're sick we have of exclusive PC unlocks hackers. for you in both games. Okay, you've been waiting long enough. Let's take an exclusive first look at some gameplay footage. Here is Rainbow Six Extraction. We already know what it looks like. They showed off gameplay. Well, the gameplay was leaked for it months ago. And it looked exactly the same as Rainbow Six Siege. Welcome to Rainbow Six Extraction, the new tactical co-op shooter game where Rainbow Six operators are dropped into alien territory. Look shit already. <laughs> In today's walkthrough, we're on a mission to investigate anomalies identified at the Orpheus Research Center in Alaska. HQ will provide additional instructions. Oh my god. It looks so the, the same. It's the same. It's the same game. Evolving, adapting. Plant auto trackers on dormant nests. Don't destroy them or we'll lose the trackers. Is this, a, a is this like a 50 in pound add on? Alibi and Sledge will We're just going to cost 50 quid. To complete objectives, assist each other, and obliterate Archeans in their way. Throw spinning up. Oh my god, it's the same game. You've made the same game. That's a grunt. Wow. Easy for a nest to incubate and bring to life. Not so easy to eliminate. They look like numbers. the fucking Converge the, the on ones from Dying Ice Light as quiet. well. The enemy reacts to intrusions in their ecosystem, including operators. Eliminate my target. So stealth the, the runners, are the, the ones that go. run after you at night. 
I forgot what they're called. Visual on nest. Place auto trackers for our react scientists. Auto tracker activated. Where's the UI? Still no UI. Look auto at the textures on that. Fuck me. That looked terrible. The parasite generates sprawl, a that substance looks, that, that connects cool. the whole ecosystem. Alert an Archean, and a nearby nest wakes up too. Archeans move faster in sprawl, but operators That's, get that, slowed That down. is dumb. You should have to like throw fire on it or something. The squad can use their react light to see bioluminescent One little bullet makes a big way, a big way through like that. The contrast helps to better identify targets. This is a mod. You've made a mod, and you're charging 50 quid for it. Gave me the thumbs up. Good job. Identifying our key invariants helps the team determine the best approach to take them out. Spotted a rooter. It can immobilize anyone in front of it, so Sledge will swing around back. Get out of there before the swarm appears. Don't push your luck. No, oh, this is this is an example of why paid games suck, Nina. <laughs> And mods are great. If this was a mod, it would be great. That was close. Here, the team can regroup and resupply. Airlock doors will open onto the next subzone, which will be tougher than the first. So what, there were like four fucking aliens? We samples from those Archies, and we need them gone. Oh, they look so Here's tough. The only thing I like about it is the effect of the actual the liquid stuff. It's right there. React blade, do your thing. Maybe we'll be surprised and it'll be like free to play. One down. Or, We're not done or, yet. Or 15 pounds. That's your target. Don't put it to death just yet. Get that sample. We've located a spiker. It can fire armor piercing projectiles. Alibi deploys a Prisma hologram. Deploying the paint. It said pre-order at the beginning. Oh dear. The squad can use React tech to go further in incursions. The more intel they collect, the more tech they'll have at their disposal to fight off this threat. It's all about teamwork to outsmart the enemy. Barricade that spot. Reinforcing the wall. The same the animation. Point is a good idea to increase the arc mine's efficiency. Eyes on hostile. I have a season pass, a battle pass. That's the way. Keep hunting. That's the react threat sensor. Smasher incoming. Hello. It's a tank. For the Archies to follow. Another objective completed. The squad can either exfil at the extraction point to bring home the latest intel or move to the next airlock. The third subzone will be the most challenging yet, a true test of both tactical team strategy and operator reflexes. I like the yellow. <laughs> Some Archies are responding to an elite as if trying to think of things good to say no about it. Let them mobilize against us. Hunt I like the yellow, the and I like the, the liquid s stuff on the floor. with Ubisoft Plus. It's not free though, is it? you got to pay a subscription. We have 
an operator in stasis. An operator is now MIA. I don't know if you can hear this, but we're mounting a rescue. Hang tight. You don't even like turn into one of the aliens or anything. You heard it. A rescue mission is underway. React still needs you. That's terrible. Operators, it's time to unite and stand together against this emerging threat. Squad up with friends in co-op or step into the containment alone. Stay tuned for more Rainbow Six Extraction Intel coming very soon. If you think fighting aliens is tough, try learning guitar. Well, that was a segue. 10 years ago, Rocksmith redefined music learning by introducing the first console game that taught millions how to play guitar. No, fuck, Whether they're making another an one? Whether you're or just starting out, Rocksmith has an approach that's for everyone. You, or you're just, a you're fun just pimping the fucking last game guitar, again, are you? Playing your favorite songs. And in the decades since its release, our community and its impact have only amplified. This year, let's turn it up to 11 and see what's next for Rocksmith. You're actually making another one. No fucking way. Rocksmith Plus, oh no, it's not gonna be something, it's not, no, don't be something mobile, I will kill you. <laughs> Rocksmith Plus, Plus, does not sound like a new Rocksmith game. No, you wankers, why don't you make a new Rocksmith game, you fucking cunts? What is it? Is it new? What is it? That's that's Rocksmith. That's twenty. That's Rocksmith 2014. What is it? What exactly is it? Is it just like a fucking service? Rocksmith Plus sounds like a subscription service. To me. Like, there's definitely some new stuff here. Like, the UI looks different. That's different. Oh, look, they got like a tab section of it. Like a proper tab. When you look at the tab. I just don't know what it is. Is it a full release? Is it a mobile game? If it's a full release, I'll get it. As if your first guitar is a Gibson Les Paul standard. Stand out her window and play um, Peter Gabriel. <laughs> what is that? What does it mean? What is it? It's a Google Play. Google Play. What? Acoustic though. That's new. Even you could use. Producer at Ubisoft San Francisco. And Rocksmith has truly been a dream project for me. As a lifelong gamer and a touring musician, Rocksmith is what I wish I had when I started learning music. And that's why I'm thrilled to share the next evolution of music learning Rocksmith Plus, a new interactive music learning no! subscription service available this year. Learn how to by playing along to <laughs> no. master recordings of your Why? favorite songs. Connect your instrument to your PC, console, or mobile device and get real-time feedback as you play. Fuck Connecting you. with Rocksmith Plus will be easier than ever now that you can use your phone as oh, a that's microphone. that's gonna be a fucking Download nightmare, app, that. Log in, sync to Rocksmith Plus, set it down, and play along. That's the nowhere now near gonna be good enough. And nowhere near. Can Fuck use that. Rocksmith, Plus Rocksmith already with has no enough extra gear needed. Like problems it's with note game detection. Changer. That's gonna be even worse. And we're excited to reveal Rocksmith Plus will have a huge amount of songs at launch. All songs in the library will have chord charts that will be perfect nice. for rhythm players who want to yeah, learn the good. foundation of a song to does hum it still and have, strum along to. Is it, does it not have It'll the up and down the note still? For note authentic arrangements for players that want to oh, play the UI songs looks exactly shit. how the artists originally played them. And each week, 
we'll release a steady stream of new authentic arrangements to keep growing that portion of the library. We're also introducing the Rocksmith Workshop, a new tool that lets users create and add their own arrangements for songs we've licensed. Oh, no. Oh. Your subscription <laughs> will give you access to all we've those licensed. songs. More content than ever before, including genres beyond rock. We'll have pop, hip hop, country, Latin, songs that don't have guitar on them, all sorts of metal subgenres. We'll have music from all over the world, from big stars to indie darlings. It's the most diverse song library ever seen in music learning software. Rocksmith Plus will still have our proven practice features like adaptive difficulty and riff repeater, which let you practice and learn at your so own one, pace. So one one problem that Rocksmith has is that for rhythm, it doesn't tell you them. if it's an up strum or We've a down strum. We've those features in Rocksmith Plus and are introducing new ones. Beginner and intermediate players will benefit from more personalized learning. And that doesn't look like that's Based been added. Enhanced recommendation system and more robust progress tracking. Players won't just see their growth on a single song. They can now monitor their progress technique by technique across the board and overall offer a better sense of how you're improving over time. Advanced players will be happy to know we're introducing a new Rocksmith tablature view. So this is good. That way you could take advantage of Rocksmith Plus's song library and practice tools in a format that's familiar and one that will help well, never had, your tab I, I never had any problem we're excited to announce that you can register for a chance transitioning to participate from tab in our closed beta and back and forth. right after the show. To me, Visit Rocksmith is tab already. To get an early look at Rocksmith Plus and help us test and create the future of music learning. Thank you so much to the amazing you better not fans fucking do any DLC. You better get all the Rocksmith fucking songs over the past with the subscription. 10 years. Let's jam together with Rocksmith Plus for another 10. <laughs> the acoustic's not going to work properly at all, is it? Register now for a chance to play the Rocksmith Plus beta. Beta. Summer's coming, and nothing gets Thrill Seekers' blood flowing like bright sun and fresh trails. And Riders Republic will give them just that. Last yeah, year, gamers are known for going at our outside. Massive multiplayer outdoor in sports extravaganza. Since then, the project's grown by jumps and grinds. So it looks like they've just taken Rocksmith 2014, made it mobile, and added a few features, I guess. But made the UI. The UI looks quite. It's similar, but it's kind of basic. It looks mobilified, I would say. But it might Greetings, be clearer and easier seekers. to read. This is the Riders Ridge, the Republic's stomping ground. Did you not buy Steep? Here, well, you're not going to buy this game either. <laughs> Manage your career. Learn to nail those wild moves. Stay stylish. Steep was great, actually. Share your creations with the Republic. I love Steep. Stay on top of the latest news and take up some ferocious fuck multiplayer me, action frame like free for all the animations what the six fuck man 16 competition. you're being left behind in the dust Ubisoft you need new engines oh it's steep no, so no. here's how it works see look steep forming big tricks on the modules that is literally steep red to blue and every trick that you stomp will contribute to your team but it looks a lot score. more arcadey you still with me okay when your team has turned all the modules blue you capture that district which will help multiply your score into the big time progress 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 to unlock more content you gotta earn those stars it's literally steep <laughs> so if you want to be the boss of Steep your own bikes. career, the world's most famous competitions are waiting for you. Yeah, it looks good. It might be really good. Like, Steep was great, but I didn't play Steep until it was free to play. Now, some might say the best parts of the Republic can be found in the, the frame rate is horrific. We've got modules that you can slay for days. And the animation quality is terrible. Maybe you're all about living on the edge. Either way, to progress, you've got to earn those stars. Having the right rig is important, too. 
We've all got our preferences. All right, I get it. Sometimes you just want to explore and bathe in nature. There's nothing to explore. It's deep, there wasn't, at least. That's right. Everything you do counts. Getting those stars means more rad to be had. And the Republic will abide. There's always something awesome to do as you reach new milestones and unlock more challenges. <laughs> It's the camera's way too close right. to the back of the character. It's infamous. It's spectacular. It's the biggest stage in slopestyle mountain biking. And guess what? You can play it versus your friends. What? No there way. Is so, so much more. More stunts. More sports. More events. They're trying to capitalize, capitalize on that game. Like Descenders? Is that what Just it was more, called? Okay. And the natural outdoor playground for you and your friends to enjoy any way that you want. Is it free to play? When we say fun with everyone, we mean it. Look at all these riders. Does this speak to you? Then don't miss out on mass races. <laughs> Make it free to play. Woo! That's got drone races. That's not a drone. They look like drones, didn't they? To me, oh, I'd play this, it looks good. It just, I'm guessing that's for well, the frame rate, it looks terrible. I'm hoping it's like the console version or something. Looks fun. The Republic awaits you, Ryder. See you soon. September 7th, September 2nd. And the beta, okay. Don't keep the mountains waiting. Riders Republic is coming September 2nd, and you can pre-order now and claim your right to rip. Not pre-ordering. Where's the beta? Where's okay. the beta coming? So we've out? seen some of our favorite Rainbow Six operators battling alien parasites. But how's their day job going? You know, ever since Crimson Heist, we're still trying to clear all those pesky Flores drones off the maps. Year six is off to a blazing start, with Siege passing 200,000 concurrent players a few weeks ago. If you haven't joined in really? yet, 2021 is the perfect time to drop in. Why? It's fun. It's like you play it for a weekend and then you're done. It's been work in progress. The game's been out for fucking six years. Six years into our journey with Siege, we are humble and grateful for the enthusiastic but we still community couldn't afford the good that has supported this growth. So today is all about sharing I'm, quality I'm staring of into a $20,000 camera, but I'm using a $50 headset. With the community growing every day, we've been hard at work finding ways to improve your ability to play with your friends and meet new players. On June 30th, we are unifying our oh, PC great. and cloud-based platforms with cross play You'll and cross progression. You'll add two players. That means that any player on Amazon Luna, Stadia, what the fuck or is Amazon PC Luna? will be able to queue into I've games together heard of that. while having a unified account progression. And for console players, in early 2022, crossplay will be available between PlayStation and, turn and it Xbox off. platforms, <laughs> and the cross progression will be available between all platforms. For these updates, we needed a bit more time in order to prepare and make sure they have a smooth launch. Bringing these player bases together benefits everyone. It will finally allow you to play with your friends across different platforms. It also means that your progression will now follow you anytime and anywhere you play. We know crossplay is a feature a lot of you has been anticipating, and we are thrilled to see the enthusiasm its announcement has inspired. From your amazing fan art to the awesome cosplays, the Rainbow Six community is the lifeblood that keeps this game moving forward. We cannot thank you enough for your support. We don't have it any is because of you that Siege keeps evolving and growing. To wrap up, here's a brand new animated trailer starring Thunderbird, the new Defender Johnny. The Thunderbirds? Team. Check this out. I'm expecting big eyebrows. Nope. 
Ready? Six years ago, I met it's good that this looks nothing like the fucking game at all. She saved my life. <sighs> Damn. That symbol, what does it mean? <laughs> this jacket was my father's. Dagu Wakan, we chakpi. The creator's star has many meanings. Love, that's, that's Dodger's, wisdom, that's Dodger's um, cat emote, you. cat high five Listen, emote. I need hey. to get this bird in the air. You try to get some rest. Yo, the bus. Thanks. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Unfortunately, on my birthday, I get to watch terrible conferences. <laughs> What's happening? Shh. Huh? Bear. I didn't know there were bears in Rainbow Six Siege. Thunderbird, I'll go. New projects aren't the only things to be excited about this year. Take a look at the incredible updates coming to our live games. Live in service games. What the hell is that, Brawlhalla? They're putting Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in Brawlhalla. Four on it. I need to go back to that at some point. Four is dead. No, it's not dead. It's actually fun. Well, that looks a nightmare to drive along. You've made four guys in Trackmania. Two thousand players is enough for an online game. It's plenty. That's still plenty enough. The crew too. Did you buy it? No. <laughs> Did anybody buy it? You bought the crew too. That explains a lot. <laughs> oh yeah, they're zombies. It's, this is a zombie expansion for Watch Dogs Legion. I believe. I'm gonna bring him back Wrench and Aiden. From the no. release of the Ghost Experience to the latest teammate update, the Ghost Recon Breakpoint keeps evolving. Is it any good now? Feedback. But that's not all. As 2021 marks the 20th anniversary of the Ghost Recon franchise, we are happy to announce that there are still many more surprises to come. Stay tuned, Ghosts. It's not good now, is it, still? Just Dance has always been about connecting with friends and family. When you're in good company, there are no bad dancers. So move the coffee table, alert the local homeowners association, and let's get, get ready for a copyright strike. I thought it was just a mobile thing now, and you just downloaded and subscribed to. Is it an actual game anymore? 
Who is it? Oh no, who is it? Is it Dua Lipa? It's not Dua Lipa, is it? No. Hello, my name is Todd Hall, and I'm a singer, dancer, actor, I don't know director, who you are. and choreographer. I am super excited to announce that my song, Nails, Hair, Hips, Hills, is who? going to be what? a part when? of Just Why? Dance 2022. Legs, face, eyes, thin, waist, thick, thighs, you, me, you, wish, new phone, who, this. But that's not all. Oh no, for the first time ever, the Just Dance team and I are collaborating to give you an exclusive version of my song for Just Dance 2022. You mean like a remix? I don't dance, I work. I don't play, I Better work, bitch. I don't Better work, bitch. I get to work, bitch. To me, Just Dance allows people to express themselves through dance and to celebrate who they are and their individuality you just have to, like, in such a move, fun way. Like, Just your Dance has transformed millions of lives and I hope that this song brings you all so much joy. Whether you're the only thing Connect was good for. group, to work out, or just to have fun, it's going to be a great time and I can assure you, you will not just play, you will absolutely slay. The new lyrics were handcrafted specifically for Just Dance and let me tell you okay. something, they're full of sass because, you know, they were written by yours truly, but I guarantee they are going to give people so much confidence that's the reason why i wrote nails hair hips hills and now it's been just danceified i don't think they're ready for this jelly i hope you all have just as much fun dancing to this track as i had making it oh and one last thing you will have the opportunity to be a part of the making of my new video which will be released alongside the new just dance track for more information on how to participate darling just check the link below we got you. He's... I cannot wait to see you all living your best life and being the most fabulous you have ever been. Exactly. I will see I've got to say that he's fabulous. Dance 2022. Girl, I don't dance, I work. I don't play, I slay. I don't walk, I strut, strut, strut. And then it's on the Switch. Is it only on the Switch? I, I guess Switch is... I mean, it wouldn't be very comfortable to... Like dance with this okay, in your dolls. hand. Y'all know what time it is. Come the switch joy cons, I guess, work for that. I want to see you work. Come on, nails, hair, hair, Better work, bitch. It's time to get our Viking on. It was a big year for the new chief of the Raven Clan, but your journey with Eivor is far from over. Well, no one beat it because it's too fucking long. So here's a DLC that you won't play because you haven't beaten the game. In November 2020, we, we released, released an unfinished Creed game. To our delight, it was the biggest launch for, for any some Assassin's reason. Creed game to date, and we have you to thank for that. Becoming Eivor, a Viking leader going on a quest to fight for a new home, is an adventure that resonated closely with many of you. Really? I'm I surprised. Had fun People, there's England tons of Vikings Eivor out there that can relate. across unique world events that Eivor. left me with memorable side stories. Thank you, Eivor. Why have you got the face We're of an adult? to see how you dedicated yourselves to the Viking lifestyle. You've led more than 300 million raids in total. And we built kept, more we than kept the raping out of the raids, though. In your settlements. Because <laughs> that Congrats. would look bad. Eivor still has a long journey ahead, and we've been continuing to offer free updates for all players to enjoy post-launch. Is it playable These now? These updates include time-limited festivals, new quests, and even whole new game modes, such as the River Raids update and the Mastery Challenge. <laughs> We add in community requested tweaks and features too. For instance, we'll be adding one handed swords in the coming weeks. We've the added team more microtransactions. At tackling issues and improving the game experience for everyone. Should have done that before you released it. We've been it. tracking various known issues on our forums and also shared our complex bug fixing process in a recent dev blog. We love seeing your continual feedback and we thank you for your patience and support for the game. On top of regular free updates, we're also building on Eivor's story and the world of Assassin's Creed Valhalla through game expansions. Wrath of the Druids released a few weeks ago, allowing players to explore anyone, I don't think anyone knew. and battle a mysterious <laughs> cult, the Children of Danu. Do, do island dirty. In our second upcoming expansion, you'll get to relive the Haven't you already of made Paris. one in Paris? This is the most ambitious battle in Viking history, taking place in war-torn Francia. 
You'll have to do everything in your power to uncover enemy secrets and form strategic alliances in order to safeguard your clan's future. Players may be excited to learn that black box infiltration missions are returning. This means you're given a goal for a mission, but how you'll achieve it is up to you. Expect new abilities. Go back to the parkour, please, and the free running climbing puzzles. Weapons, gear, and of course, new enemies. Watch out for the Siege of Paris coming this summer. Assassin's Creed has long focused on the exploration of history, and we are happy to announce that the new it's Discovery a Tour game, will though. be released this fall. It will be free to all who own Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Explore the world and take a deeper dive into the history of the Viking Age. The team has crafted a new experience Work where you'll progress. get to play You're not as joking. people during the time of Vikings and follow them in their endeavors, big and small, while collecting exclusive rewards. Go to the library Whether instead, you're please. An Assassin's Creed fan Don't get your history from history, Assassin's Creed. Or a student looking to Go supplement to the library. your knowledge. The Discovery Tour Viking Age will have you covered. When they, when they reopen. Assassin's Creed Valhalla doesn't stop here. For the first time on an Assassin's Creed title, we'll be supporting the game well into its second year. Well, this year will be a very active year for the game. We're already working on more expansions you for joking? next year. Something tells me that Eivor is not done with Odin yet. One thing people do not want is more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. There's too much of it already. Have you got a Sprinter Cell game? Have you got a Rayman game? So you've seen some great games from no, us. No, we haven't. But we also have news about the movies and TV series no. we've been working on. Our Ubisoft film and television team <sighs> has some exclusive content to share. Up first is Mythic Quest, the workplace comedy set in a game development studio that's streaming on Apple TV+. Plus. Oh, great. I've, if you haven't watched the second season yet, here's a look at what you've been missing before the upcoming season finale. I should spoil it for you if you haven't watched Why it yet. Bumps? This is an involuntary reaction to being inspired. I was emotionally manipulated. What's the difference? Oh! Of course, the Washington Post would say it's good. I'm going to go that's watch it, it now, it, then. It. Except make it about me and not the world. I feel really seen. Actually, Bert, I don't want to see you or hear you. She played us to get what she wanted. She inspired us. She emotionally manipulated us. What's the difference? Up next is an exclusive look at a new trailer for our feature-length movie, Werewolves Within. What? It's a whodunit with teeth that'll be coming to theaters June 25th and on demand July 2nd. You're making a full-length film. Hello, everyone. I am Josh Rubin, the director of Werewolves Within. And I'm Sam Richardson, the star of Werewolves Within. Werewolves Within was based off a Ubisoft game, and we're so excited to bring what? you an exclusive look. What Ubisoft game? Check it out. What Ubisoft game? <laughs> Dr. Ellis? I told you, she's probably tight. Touch this door again, I'll shoot. Again. Dr. Ellis? Knock the damn lock, please. Look, we need no, answers. From the commercials. What did you say? It didn't just... Shh, shh, shh. That aren't what? played in England. It's not Emerson Flint. It's one of you. What the hell is that oh. supposed to mean? Okay, well, what did her eyeballs say? Look, we don't understand. Could you just please come out? I'm afraid I can't do that, Ranger Wheeler. You could be one of them. What is it? One of what? Josh, that Josh Rubin looks familiar. I like him. A I've what? seen him before. A werewolf. The roads oh, we used to do. We used to do. Um, What's wrong with the generator? College also, humor. There's a dead body under your porch. Ah! What yes! popular video game? Exactly. Oh, I'm gonna go get a croissant. Out of curiosity, who is packing? It's America. Everyone's got a gun. With guns, though. With guns, yes. 
Can she act? Everybody's before going, she just did commercials. <laughs> Not uh, littering, I'm just excited. Not judging, just uh, We found the one person who doesn't own a gun in America. <laughs> it's Nina. Follow Mythic Quest on Apple TV Plus. And be sure to catch Werewolves Within this summer. In theaters or on your on-demand platforms. It's not that, it's just that one... No hero story there are is ten guns for like every single person who owns one. After all, even the most vile tyrant is a star of their own narrative. When it comes to memorable villains, no one does it better than Far Cry. They're, they're doing a DLC for Far Cry 6, apparently, where you can play as the villains. Please, we From have the last to few get games. Abuela, what the hell am I gonna do with baseball cards? Do you have any idea what these are worth? Let us through! Oh, oh, yeah. Marco! Always Hello. making new friends. Danny, you're late. Where's Alejo? He gave up his ticket. For his family. Bullshit! Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get out of boxing gown! Get the fuck! The graphics look like they're from 2012. Gracias. Don't worry about it, Chamaco. Here. That's all I've got. This isn't right, Danny. We should be fighting, not running to the Yankees. Alejo gave you a fucking gift, Lira. We survive. Same as the orphanage, same as the academy. No, no, this is a no, no. That's the same pistol sound that they've used in like every Far Cry game forever. Am I buying this? I don't know if I'm buying this. Nice shoes. For Tim. They're not villain. Before he was El Presidente, me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this, and we would catch the fish and then release them. He would say, it's not always about your stomach, mijo. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin, ha! <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sick, Tirano! You have poisoned Yara! You have poisoned your soul! Whoops. I've caught a very big fish today. Have a He was old, it was Diego. fine. Diego! No way. Well, that's his son. Oh, yeah. I have got you, mijo. Not Vaz. Now it's time to bring you home. Not Vaz. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on his fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. Just seen another disturbing lesson from Anton Castillo, passed down to his son Diego as he grooms him to become the future ruler of Yara. 
the most important part of crafting a Far Cry villain isn't the fact that they're evil or shocking. It's that there's someone that could sit across from you at the dinner table and charm you into thinking that everything they believe, no matter how twisted or horrifying, could be absolutely true. That's the secret to Anton's power. And we couldn't be prouder to have him join the Fight Cry He's like family. a fucking maniac to me. Now, when creating Anton, we had quite a lot to live up to. Because when you think Far Cry, you think about its rich legacy of villains. I think about the endless camps that I have to go around which makes fucking today liberating. a very special day for Far Cry fans. Not only did we get to see into yeah, the mind you can of play Anton as Vars, Castillo, you can play we as finally the fourth get to one and the fifth our one. Plans. Our dream was to honor the Far Cry villain's tradition In DLC. and introduce a brand new experience. In DLC! It is time to see the other side. In DLC! Go further down the rabbit hole. In DLC! To, you to find a way out. In DLC. You're announcing DLC before the game's out. Why are you doing this? Oh, it's VR! It's fucking VR, isn't it? Or is it not? It looked like VR then. RJ, tell your mother and sister to... Is it VR? That is all that matters. What the fuck? Oh yeah, bring back that cunt. That's a great idea. Where the fuck am I? Is this like this might be better than the actual main fucking game? To get what he wants. This is gonna be like Far Cry Blood Dragon. That's better than Far Cry 3. Is this a test? Then I will not waste it. Got funny Why are they announcing DLC already? Because they're Ubisoft. Because they're Ubisoft. All games do that, not just Ubisoft. You are Eat the Bible. Eat the Bible. The season. Well, no. Each DLC is going to be one. It's not going to be like one package. It's going to be where you put, you buy one, and then you buy the other, and you buy the other. <laughs> it's the anime, isn't it? The Netflix thing or whatever. No. What? What? What was that about? That game's already out. We're so excited for you all to check out this next game. Oof, Neelam, I can't wait to get my hands on this one. What? What was that? Starfield. Is it Beyond Good and Evil 2? Are you f Hey, it's Mario and Rabbids. The best thing Nintendo have made, but it's not Nintendo. It's Ubisoft. <laughs> Luma? Oh! From Super Mario Galaxy! Hey! It's fluffy. Oh god. <laughs> this is why I don't know why they bother with these, because everything gets leaked already. Everything gets leaked. They don't need just just announce it before it gets leaked. We're going through the galaxy. What, what if it wasn't a turn-based tactical game, though? <laughs> oh dear. Who is it? That ain't Bowser. Looks like one of those things, a guardian from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> Get the gun. <laughs> Upload your gun. Upload your phone to your gun. It's not going to look any better though, is it? Because it's on the Switch again. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> What's Alina? What have they done to you? Uh, 
I can't be bothered. <laughs> I guess we're going. Yeah. I want to see what the game looks like, though. This is a CGI trailer. Tony the Tiger? They're yeah, great! That's supposed to be. Marion Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Can we please see some gameplay? Fuck you. It's this guy. The wholesome guy. The whole team is super proud of this new game. And I can't wait for you to experience We make the best Nintendo games, and we're not even Nintendo! <laughs> it's fair to say that we did something quite surprising with the concept of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. And for this project, we didn't want to stop there. Hi everyone! Mario and the Rabbit <laughs> are back! And I'm so excited to be back as well today, to unveil our new project, Mario plus Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. We are diving back into this unique crossover with even bigger ambition, expanding our universe on a major scale. This time it's not just the Mushroom Kingdom, there is an entire galaxy to save. To do so, you will lead a brave yet reckless team of unique heroes, including some fresh faces like Rabbit's Rosalina and other surprises. On their quest to repel evil across the galaxy, their spaceship will bring them from planet to planet. They will be facing a powerful villain, Cursor, an enemy unlike anything our heroes encountered before. Got technicals. But they won't be alone. By their side, they will have their new allies, the Sparks. You mean the, These the Loomers? These surprising creatures, Loomers. born from the merge of Rabbits and Loomers, will lend their wild powers to our heroes. Their natures and origin are at the core of our story. But let's keep some surprises for later. Yahoo! After the tremendous success of Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, the entire team was moved by the amazing reception from players across the world. We were stunned by the love we felt for this unexpected team up. We know we've been off the radar for a while now, as we wanted to take the time needed to bring this crossover to the next level. It's not just a new story with new enemies, new heroes. Mario Plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope has big ambitions. So it's not a different it game genre. new action elements into the mix that will mm. push the boundaries of tactical games even further. Mm. That being said, we also wish to offer an easy to play experience for all players, mm. yet hard to master for those of you that are willing to take the challenge. And you'll be able to experience this cosmic adventure exclusively on the Nintendo Switch. Pretty old PC. We can't wait to tell you more about when the game soon. When he's a mouse soon. and keyboard. There is an entire galaxy to save, and we cannot wait for you to experience it. Yep, it's Mary, Mary Rabbits. Oh, come on. Mario game where you can't jump. Still. What 
the action elements they're talking about. Hello. <laughs> You get to move around normally instead of it being limited to a grid. Yeah, you're probably right, yeah. There were no grids, there were boxes there, yeah. No squares. Oh, 2022? Oh, that could be anything. That could be like December 2022. So we're not done yet. Let's check in with our CEO, uh -oh. Eve Gimo. I defended and covered up years of abuse. But love me, I'm a lovable character. Hi everyone. As you have seen, we have a fantastic and diverse lineup of games coming soon. And this is just the beginning. Thanks to all the teams at Ubisoft for what they achieved and for always striving to deliver the best possible game experiences. No brain, man. I'm humbled by their resilience, energy, and collaboration. No splinter cell. Especially during what has been a challenging year. I'm also proud of our industry's ability to, to bring together dicks. millions of players from around the world. Fantastic. To share memorable Hello. experiences I hope you play our and games. moments of joy. This is one of the real powers of video games. And it is what motivates everyone at Ubisoft to do our best. Finally, my sincere thanks to you, the players. We appreciate the trust, we don't trust you, you place in us. Your involvement in our games communities keep them growing and vibrant. We want to create original, enriching, long-lasting game worlds. You don't. You and make a new one every year and abandon the last and one. And support make it possible. We also are proud that some of the biggest names in entertainment trust our creative teams to develop games within their universes. For example, you just saw Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope, developed in collaboration Maybe we'll see more Nintendo, the Nintendo Direct, everyone's I hope so. Favorites, like an actual Mario and unedited gameplay section. Return for an all new adventure. And speaking of great partnerships, there is one more hey, exciting child, what's word thing me? we would like to show you today. It is a glimpse of the amazing journey that awaits you in one of the most beautiful but dangerous places of all. The internet. Brought to life by the latest version of our Snowdrop engine. I'm excited to share mm -hmm. this first look with you now. What is it? Enjoy. What is it? Well, what is it? What is it? Tell me or you will be destroyed. Split the cell. What if it's Rayman? What if it looks like that and it's Rayman? <laughs> oh, it's beyond good. It's got to be beyond good and evil, too, surely. Oh, it's fucking Avatar. They're making an Avatar game. Oh. Movie license game. Yay! <laughs> Great. Didn't Ubisoft make the last Avatar game and it was fucking shit? No, the, the Avatar game came out. Yep. In 2009, developed by Ubisoft. And Gameloft and Ubisoft Montreal. It was shit. It was fucking terrible. So I don't trust them at all. Doesn't look that great. <laughs> the faces don't look that good. The, the animations are still stilted. On the faces. Like the, uh, the environments look great in the jungle, but the faces and the, the animations on the characters look really stuttery and stilted still. Oh, 
Also, this is just a CGI trailer. It's not actually gameplay at all. No Splinter Cell, no Rayman, no Skull and Bones. What is it? <laughs> what is the game? It's an open world game where you go around um, clearing out camps as an... Uh, <laughs> No Splinter Cell, no Rayman, that no Skull and Bones. Why bother? We got Marion Rabbids, which was leaked already. You didn't need to do the conference. We already knew it was coming because it, it got leaked. Leaked. And I like the that bike game thing, whatever it's called. Thanks to Eve and all the devs that joined us to share what's new with Ubisoft. Today, we bounce some our keys in Unless Rainbow Six you've got Six the extraction. memory of a fucking some goldfish. New songs in got an adrenaline rush from Riders Republic. Lit up the that dance game. floor in Just Dance 2022. <laughs> Riders Republic. Visit a new shore Such a generic name. Valhalla. Witness the chilling confrontation in Far Cry 6. And teamed up with our favorite man in overalls hey, in Mario Plus Rabbids. It's the only good Rabbids. thing. Don't go anywhere. There's still more to come in the post show. No, there's not. Bye, y'all. We're not watching it. Nope. Not doing it. Bing.